So when I was starting my sketch, I was looking for a sound that I could vibe to. That's how it started. <laughs> So once I had the kinetic metal sound, I added a bass sound. It's the almost moog sound from Prism. I like this because it was proper moody. And then I just added a filter to it. So I started with this loop. And then once I had this loop, then I started to piece together the drums. I think I just used the sounds in drum lab, so it's quite basic. The chords and the bass are quite off, so I wanted that, that to have that kind of offbeat groove to it. So I jammed in a few little loops and then I edited them. And then with the bass, just to give you an idea. So it's quite a simple loop. The main thing for me is with the chords and the bass, they're kind of doing things that you don't think they're going to do and they're pushing at different parts. So the bass is pushing where you're thinking it's not going to and it works really well. Then having the groove of the drums, it's a little bit off and it gives it that kind of swing that you kind of need. The next stage for me after adding the drums was I wanted to add a little vocal layer. With a lot of my tracks, I like to use my vocals as instruments. So I'll either, you know, record a vocal in and maybe sample it, use it as an instrument, like maybe make it sound like a flute or just some kind of instrument as part of the track rather than it being a vocal as such. I started with this actually. So I just jammed in a few little bits. I had... Sometimes when I sing them in as well, I like to sing them really weird. You know when you have a formant effect on a vocal, I'll try and sing the formant effect when I'm putting the vocal. I'll, I'll try and make my voice imitate a formatted sound. And then I, I use the mouth to then add a fourth over the top of it. So just a slight harmony over it. It's pretty simple. I just added some chorus to it, a lot of reverb, filtered it. That was then the start of the first melody for the vocals. So I think when I was starting it, I'd messed around with different sounds and I hadn't settled for anything. And it wasn't until I had the kinetic metal that I was like, I'm gonna build from here. But it was a good challenge. It's nice to, to work in a different way to usual.